wanted to create a quick video to show you how I try to keep my waist down as a resin artist. So first thing I wanted to show you is my molds. I used to make these molds using wax or parchment paper underneath instead of this blue silicone material. This is an old mold, I don't use it anymore. You can see it's really warped. But um, I found that I was only able to use those molds one, maybe two times before they ripped and I had to throw them out. So instead, I now use this silicone material because basically it takes up the same amount of space and I have to use the same amount of silicone caulking, but I can use it 25 plus times. So that's a really great way to keep your waist down when it comes to molds. I also make my own molds now. You can see over there. And that's also another great way to keep my uh, waist down. So the second thing that I do is I reuse my big plastic measuring cup. This is a thousand milliliters, so four cups or one liter. And basically, although the resin does build up and harden over time, I can still measure along here by subtracting all this hardened resin. And this I've been using for about six to eight months. And as you can see, it's not full yet, so I do still use it. And uh, it doesn't look very pretty. It's a little bit of a mess. But as you can see, totally hard now and ready for a new batch of resin. So some people use um, disposable measuring cups every time they mix their resin and hardener. And since I'm basically mixing resin every single day, it, it helps keep the waste down a lot to reuse this container. Okay, and then the next thing I reuse is Solo Cups and Popsicle Sticks. So again, bit of a disaster, but that's all hardened resin. So it's not actually dirty. It's not going to um, make my new batch of resin dirty, but it's perfect to reuse. It still works despite those little drip marks. Still works as a stir stick. And then as you can see here, resin hardened in the bottom, but lots of space to mix my colors in. So again, some people will use cups and then throw them out as soon as they're done using them. I do my best to reuse them as long as I can. And one tip is instead of leaving your popsicle stick in the bottom like this to dry and cure, rest it like this and then you can pop it off more easily when the resin is hardened. If you leave it in the resin, in the cup, that's what happens. You get a little piece of popsicle stick down there and it's really hard to break the stick out of the resin so let it dry like that and then one more tip I have been using um, paper to cover my table and protect it from the resin but I would suggest instead using a garbage bag or another plastic surface surface sorry and the reason for this is because when resin hardens on paper you can't get it off and if you get a big lump of resin on your table then that means you can't put a mold over top, unless it's a really thick mold. But if you're using the type of molds that, that I use over there, then you can't rest it on top because it'll leave a lump under your coasters or whatever you're making. Um, the other thing too is if I have my cups here and they harden to the paper and I try to take them off, they rip the paper. And then I figured that I could recycle this paper when I was done, but since it's covered in resin, I actually can't. So instead, I would suggest using plastic because the resin just pops right off of it. Meaning you can reuse it as long as you want and your surface will never get covered in resin and all lumpy. You can just take it right off. Super easy. Okay, so those are my four main tips that I use to keep my waist down. Um, but if anyone has any other tips, I would love to hear them. I, I would love to try to keep my waist down even more. So if you have any other tips, feel free to send me a message, comment below.